What's up, modern steaders? Gina's going out tonight for a girls' night, so it's gonna be me and Olivia for dinner. I've been seeing all over the place two ingredient pancakes. We're gonna try that, but we're gonna put a little swing to it. We're gonna put in some wild strawberries. You guys keep telling me I gotta do something with the strawberries. So we're gonna make banana strawberry pancakes. So when Olivia gets home, we're gonna do that. But first, we're gonna go collect some more. I think that's one of the Icelandic chickens learning how to crow. Crazy! Um, but before Olivia gets home, I'm gonna go collect some wild strawberries because it's supposed to start raining. Look at how much rain we've already gotten in the past two days. Can you see that? Just over an inch and three quarters. We're supposed to get between a quarter and a half inch tonight. And then three quarters to an inch tomorrow. Crazy! We'll leave the rain in there and we'll see what we get. These ones are pretty big, right here. Oh, look at all these. Pluto, get over here, come on. There's three more right here. One thing somebody left in the comments and it got me thinking, they were asking, were the wild strawberries always here? Yes, they were. But since we ran the chickens over them last year, we have that much more wild strawberries. So I'm thinking it's either from fertilizing or think about this. The chickens are eating, let me grab one, the wild strawberries. You see all those things on the outside? Those are seeds. So they're eating them and then they're pooping out fertilized seeds. So I wonder if that's another reason why we have so many more wild strawberries this year. What do you think? It's crazy how many strawberries we have this year. I don't know if you guys can see all them. I'm kind of smushing some, but you know what? That's all right. They're gonna get smushed when we blend them up anyways. I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera, but see all those little red spots? That's all wild strawberries. Yes! If this video right now is a little janky, I'm sorry, it's because it's raining out. We're gonna go outside, so I'm using my iPhone. Let's get the vest on. Pluto, you're not going out, because then you're gonna get all wet and stinky. No, we can't have it. I know, I'm getting my modern stetter vest on, and you think we're going outside. Look how excited she's getting. Let's go outside. We can't. You're gonna get all wet and stinky. Nope. Then you're gonna get locked in the basement. I'm sorry, you're staying in the house. I know, you'll be fine. I'll be back in in a minute. I'll be back in in a minute. I will, I promise. It'll only be a minute. You'll be okay. Kristen Whitworth, I think that's how you say your name. If I'm saying it wrong, let me know. I'm terrible with names. And you know what? I got a weird name, Alcid Lumna. So I know how it feels. When we had a substitute at school, She'd be going to the little list, doing roll call every morning. She'd be going through it, and she'd stop and sit there. I'd say, yeah, I'm right here. And she, what's your name? Just call me Al. Al, what's your name? Don't worry about it. Just call me Al. So I know how it is. So if I mess your name up, I'm sorry. I don't mean anything by it. So Kristen left me a comment reminding me to plant some pole bean, string beans, next to my corn and squash. And we have them because we've done it before. This is from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. They're the old homestead beans. So it's raining out, but let's go outside and plant them. She's gonna be mad at me, guys. She's gonna be mad at me. Go sit down, he's staying in. You're not going out, stay. Stay in. We do need to do this quickly so the phone don't get too wet. But I want to do it sooner than later because we have a whole bunch of squash plants that need to get planted. So let's get some string beans in the ground. Did 
Did you survive, Pluto? Did you survive? I told you it'd only be a minute. See you fine. There's a few reasons why you want to plant pole beans, corn, and squash all together. So the corn's gonna grow up, and then the pole beans are gonna need a pole to grow on. So the pole beans are gonna grow right on the corn, and then beans are a nitrogen fixing plant, and corn needs nitrogen. So the string beans, the pole beans are gonna grow and take nitrogen from the atmosphere and put it in the soil. So then the squash plants grow big and have lots of leaves and cover a big area. So they're gonna shade out any weeds and you're not gonna have a lot of weeds in the area. So it's a win-win. All the plants work together and there's more plants that complement other plants. There is a book with all the complementary plants. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. Thanks Kristen for the reminder. They use New York crib, but they don't know that other chickens can't get them when they're in there. Oh, that's too funny. They go in there and they'll eat, but if the bod rocks come up to them, they get scared and run off. Me and Olivia are gonna make two ingredient pancakes. But we're going we're gonna make it three ingredient because we're gonna have wild strawberries. Woohoo! So do you wanna get me two bananas and see if you can fit them in our little blender? And like see how big of pieces I have to put them in. Yep. These ones are like new ones because they're really hard to get open. I had a those one. Yellowest ones I could find too. All the yellow ones are green. Man. That's crazy. And know, like right? they're really hard to open. Rip it. Rip it real good. Think we can fit two eggs? Maybe. Two bananas. And some strawberries in there? Maybe. Do you want some help? Yeah, that one's really hard. <sighs> Isn't it hard? Yep. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta squish them down so there's more water. You do? No, you don't. They'll be fine. It's gonna get squished up. Yep, go ahead. Just. Yep. Two eggs from New York City. One. We did it. Woohoo! All right, now we're gonna go put it in the blender. See how this works. I think you really blended the strawberries. You're supposed to. Look at them. You can see the strawberries in there. All right, here. Why don't you tell me what you think? Does it smell good? It smells good. It tastes good too. It tastes good too. Mm -hmm. I got it from the side. What's that, Olivia? Can you make also? Can you also make small pancakes too? You like small pancakes, don't yeah. you? Yeah, and also big pancakes. Let's see how this goes. It looks pretty battery. Give these bad boys a flip. Ooh. Ooh it's rising. Ooh. Looks good. It might be a new favorite thing. I don't know. Uh -huh. They're looking nice. Yeah, they're even rising. Easy to make. It's a nice. That's a nice looking pancake. I'm getting pretty excited. You know he's gonna be jealous. Mom. 
Mom is. It smelled good. Mm -hmm. Smells good too. Mm. I think these are You want those ones? You want the small ones? Next time, we'll next time we'll have to try it with blueberries. <laughs> Put a couple of blueberries in there for some extra flavor. You ready for it, Libby? They smell delicious. Uh -huh. Ooh, it's a really tiny pancake. I made a couple of small ones just for you. We had a little bit of leftover batter. Looks like I've been colored on. Yeah, it looks like you painted all over yourself today. Mm -hmm. You ready? Uh-huh. You ready for pancakes? Uh-huh. You want the small ones? There's some small ones over here too. Alright, there you go. Ooh, they are hot. Let's get some butter on them. And then you're drinking strawberry kombucha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that some good kombucha? Mm -hmm. Our homemade kombucha should be done pretty soon. Today's day seven, so it means we get to start doing the second fermenting process if we want to flavor it. Yay. Yay. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So today is Sunday. This morning I uploaded the Homestead Iron video, so if you guys haven't watched that yet, I'll link that right here. Go over and check that, and then go say hi to Will over at the Homestead Iron. They got a Facebook page and a website. Tomorrow's video should be on starting to lay down the gravel for the outdoor kitchen. So we're getting excited for that. Just as long as we don't get any rain. Man, we're supposed to be getting like another inch. I think we've had enough rain. That's for sure. Too much rain. Too much rain. So we're going to end today's video here. Me and Olivia are going to have some more fun time tonight without mom. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Blum the Acres, a guide to modern home settings, health efficiency, and freedom. Bye.